Well, we're in the process of getting this elk all taken care of out here in the field. And I wanted to show you this because when I shot through that bull, it actually passed through and hit this offside leg and actually broke this leg in probably four to five pieces when it came through. And I'm shooting a 509 grain arrow out of my bow with a rage hypodermic and I'm actually pulling, I could see this, so I wanted to get the camera. I don't even know what this is gonna look like, but this is, can you see that right there? I just pulled this out and here is a rage hypodermic. This was a rage plus P, the hypodermic plus P. There's the broadhead right there. Pass through to the opposite arm hit the leg, broke it, I was shooting downhill, and the only thing that's happened is it's rounded the tip. Blades, look at this, if you question blade strength, both blades right there, slight bend in that blade, but I can tell you right now that from my experience, having a blade that might slightly bend and not break is valuable because with something like this when you hit something that hard and completely break it into four pieces that is an absolute testimony right there to an amazing broadhead and i love these things i went with the plus p because it's got a slightly lower blade angle as you can tell a two inch uh the two inch hypodermic would be more like this you'd have bigger cut but possibly less penetration just because it's more drag going through so that's laid back to an inch and a half cut and absolutely did an amazing job on this